Hey, and welcome back to another episode on the Manspective podcast. My name is Chiron Lovu. My name is Danny Shodongo. And today we're talking about why do men leave? Yeah. Very, very important uh, conversation here on why men leave. Mm. I think sometimes men just leave because they want to leave. Mm. There is no reason to it. A guy is just tired. He wants to bounce. <laughs> just like, ah, me choga. So living where? You know, we need to bring a bit more. Living content. a relationship. Okay. Living families. Okay. And by families, I mean even nuclear families. Mm. Like your mother, your father. They mm. walk away and decide, I don't want to come back. Mm. Living all these differently. Even living jobs. Yeah. Living relationships. Yeah. Living friendships. Because yeah. they want to leave. They're tired. I absolutely agree with you. Because... I think the biggest problem I think men struggle with is to find safe spaces where they can process their own trauma, their own emotions, you know. And therefore, the only way to process it is through traveling, through living, like mm. packing your bags, literally, and going maybe to the next city, getting lost. I have an uncle who got, who left our home in 1990. Till today, we don't know where that man is. <laughs> we don't know where that man is. Mm. And when I was a kid, we used to have this thing we used to say at home, at the oh, or run. Mm. That man is mad. Mm. But now that I'm an adult, I He's understand mad. that man mm. very well. I understand that man. Sometimes you just want to go amongst a people who don't know you and you start afresh. Yeah. Sometimes you just want to go and start a family afresh because you cannot be yourself in this environment that is mm. here. And men are always shamed for living. Yeah. Sort of like you need to be a man. What does it mean to be a man? I'm dying for you to be a man. So I'm proving my manhood by, by dying being in a coffin. You know that no. thing for yeah. when you say a matter, my car that does it. This that thing for yeah. we don't have seat belts here. Yeah. We die like <laughs> men. If we die, like. we die like men. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> there's that level and it's i think it's very sometimes it's okay for men to leave. yeah yeah go burn exactly. leave exactly. bounce exactly because you just can't you can't be killing yourself in a scenario mm. where you're sad I mean, as long mm. as you can take if you have children mm. take that responsibility mm. maintain that responsibility maintain your love protection of them mm. but then bounce exactly. go because exactly. there's some because sometimes a man lives because of toxic situations exactly it's just a toxic world it's a toxic space mm. there are men i know who don't even have a posture of walking anymore <laughs> they now walk like this i'm a kaliwa can't even stand up straight anymore because of the weight of the things this man has been shown yeah. they can't even talk in their voice and yeah. remember i met those men who can they don't talk in a bass anymore because not they don't have it mm. but they're so used to hearing mm. sops in their heads <laughs> and <I> was like, <laughs> hey bro let me, let me say something controversial i don't care mm -hmm. Even if you have children, mm. you the responsibility is first of all for you to be healthy. Mm. Because there's no point of you being there for your children when you're dying. Mm. You're not good to them when you're dead. dying. And mm. when you leave and their mother frustrates you from being in the lives of your children, it is still okay to continue moving on. Mm. Because Chito, men are the only people who are sort of shamed for living, for choosing themselves. Mm. So if you stay, you're not providing. If you leave, you're lazy or you're weak. You're a weak man. You're mm. not taking responsibility. When you die, they say, why do men die? Mm. Why did, did he call Why people? did he call me? Why, why did, did he talk yeah. about it? When a man then goes on and takes a gun and shoots himself, or a man drives into the vehicle, a man hangs himself, which are the most violent ways we die. Mm. Then we wonder, why don't men talk? Mm. We don't talk because <laughs> when we talk, <laughs> we're either taken for granted, mm. or when we leave, we are shamed. Or when we try and make a different choice, mm. then it's sort of like a man has no option except to die. Because sort of like the world romanticizes the death of men. Mm. So we die in the battlefield. Mm. Oh, how many? Three million men have died in the World War Two. Mm. Oh, men are dying in Somalia. An IED has exploded in, eastern, in, in northern eastern Kenya, you know. And all these things, the people who are always dying are men. Mm. Statistics of accidents, um, fatal road accidents, almost 7% of them, you know, are men. Mm. You know, why? Because I think we've normalized the death of men sort of to romanticize and to make it like in a heroic mm. manner that now when men now choosing to live and mm. choosing to live till 90, till 100, we say, ah, here is a cow. I want us to expand more, especially on this conversation about men leaving their children, leaving their families. Mm. You know, one of the things I have observed about mm. most of the men I know who are not active in their children's lives, mm. even when I confront them as a fellow man, yeah. Bona yeah. Bona mm. 
in 90% of the conversations I have had with men that have left their homes, they will tell you, mm. it is the baby mama that has helped keep the children away. Mm. They are holding the children ransom because she feels the amount of money that I send mm. is not enough. Mm. So she cannot allow me to see my child because of that. And that in itself, me the moment someone tells mm. me that the children are being withheld from you because of monetary things, mm. that in itself, I'm like, that's why you left. <laughs> that's why he left. Yeah. You cannot go and start calling him out and abusing him. Yeah. There in itself is the problem. Yeah. Because any healthy growing parent would yeah. be like, you know what? Mm -hmm. You want to see your children? Me now to shida. Guess mm -hmm. what? kwa gate. You call me when you're around the corner, I will make mm -hmm. sure that they get the guard will watch them take your children and go. Mm -hmm. Bring them back later on. You want to stay with them for two days? Ka now. But you can't. There's that issue. There's the th things we don't talk about. Mm. Many people, even this statement of deadbeat dads, I do acknowledge there are men that have left their exactly. children yeah. but I, and they've left them without a heartbeat. Mm. Gone and will never come back. Mm. But there's a sector of men who are being labeled as deadbeat dads mm. who are not deadbeats. Mm. It is the baby mama that mm. is a deadbeat because <laughs> she has held her child away from the father. Yeah. Using the child or the using the child power. as bargaining power. Yeah. Yeah. Using the child for sexual favors because yeah. that's the reality yeah. there are some men who the child the baby mama says you could you come to just come upstairs yeah. Yeah. the child is not even there no. child has gone to the neighbor's house mm. it's a trap a guy has been trapped once <laughs> twice <laughs> And he's like hi hapa so is rudy i think there's a broader conversation yes it is wrong for a man to leave children and leave his responsibility mm. but we need to address the ones who are using children mm. as ransom using mm. children to prevent a man from from performing his practice of providing mm, mm. and protecting or you're even taken to court and your money is just taken exactly a guy just sends money but never sees his children yeah where the mama takes mm. the child and put on the back of course you know the bum is out there really mm. nicely very suggestive ways to mm. call you but chito i want to say something here today i am taking no hostage and i do not give <laughs> a damn <laughs> sometimes people think that men need a lot men don't need a lot mm. all a man needs is peace Mm. A man can live a three bedroom house, a five bedroom house, for a, a, for a, for a, for a studio, a SQ, for a studio uh -huh. somewhere in Kibra. For peace. And they will come and lay the mattress on the floor and mm. they'll have as long as they have a socket uh -huh. and their phone and Wi Fi. Uh -huh. That man will be happy. <laughs> eee, that man will be happy. Uh -huh. But we think that men are moved by complex things. We are not moved by <laughs> complex things. We, we can walk away from all the drama. We can walk uh -huh. away from all the complexities. We can walk away from all the wealth. We mm. can walk away from all I've that. I've walked away from beautiful women because of the complexities and the pressure. Exactly. And the, not pressure. <laughs> and the disrespect and the lack of peace. Exactly. Sasa zita lala exactly. because you had a dream at you. I cheated on you. <laughs> Una nipigia simu ya shouting at me. I don't care how beautiful you are. I'm I want peace. Of your dreams. I don't want problems. <laughs> I want peace. I have a friend of mine who says that right now he's only dead women who are coming up with banners. <laughs> like lifting banners saying I come in peace. <laughs> <laughs> that banner says I come in peace. Uh -huh. Because that is the most important mm. thing that men want. Yeah. And so when that peace is not there, I live. Is, they live and they will go away. And even respect. Yeah. And you see peace and respect go hand in yeah, hand. Yeah. If you don't respect me, I don't have peace. Yeah, true. <laughs> I'm an, there is no peace in this place. Yeah. You respect that. You respect. And you see sometimes people make respect. Respect. And I hate this toxic feminism of making respect come out to be toxic masculinity. It's not. Mm. Respect is just simple things. Mm. I walk in the house. I have said hi to you. Mm. You've asked me what's wrong. I'm like, just give me some time to think. Mm. You don't come bickering on the door now. <laughs> I don't know, no. I have to know. You have to tell me. That is lack of respect and you're giving me no peace. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Nimekwambia hakuna pesa ya kufanya hii maneno. You are not man enough. You say me. I'll go. Ah, ah, ah. You want to go to another man by all means. Exactly. There is the door. Tembea. And you compare me to another man that you have seen what Nani has done. Uh -huh. hey, okay, so it's fine. Uh -huh. That's what they've done. You Tembea. have seen what another woman has uh -huh. done to the man. Uh -huh. You don't think I don't see what other women are doing. <laughs> You don't see, don't think I see how other women are taking mm. care of themselves or their men. Mm. You don't think I don't see that. You yes. only see what, what other men are doing. Exactly for their wives. Respect, peace. Focus on you. Men yeah. live because of lack of respect, yeah. lack of peace. <laughs> well, I like this ninja from the Rift Valley who <laughs> escaped and went away for 46 years. It's so it was back. from Central. It was from Central. <laughs> <laughs> he went the for. The brother from, just came back. He home. came back home 46 <laughs> years later. <laughs> he was like, offended. In the end, I even came. He was offended that the wife had moved on. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Men can also have God. <laughs> the audacity. Uh-huh. Audacity. <laughs> it's important to me. 46 live. freaking years and mm. then you come back and you hope that your wife is waiting yeah. for you. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's some See, he left because of lack of peace. <laughs> oh, well, maybe it's just he got lost. <laughs> <laughs> you never had the other guy who left. The one from Reef I think you're talking about, yeah. the one who left and yeah. said he got lost. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got lost in 1990 something. He got lost. He tries to find his way back. And he couldn't find his way back. <laughs> you see, maybe it's the stress. The man was stressed. Men are champions. Men are champions. <laughs> But anyway, thank you so much for checking out this episode of Man Perspective. <laughs> Subscribe, check us out on our podcast as well on Spotify. <laughs> See you on the next episode. <laughs>